I love riding my e-bike off-road. I love being able to ride down a hill and then pedal straight back up again. Ride down again as fast as I dare and then come back up again for another lap. And for that, I want full suspension. I want 170 mil travel front and rear. I want super slurpy, grippy tires to give me the best traction in the mud. And I want really good modern geometry to hold me, really hold me in that position for riding. And I want really big sizing for my big, long, gangly limbs. The thing is though, and as much as I'd like it to be, that's not the kind of riding I do most of the time. Most of the time, I'm dropping the kids at school, or I'm taking the kids to the park to play at the park, or I'm riding to the supermarket to buy food to feed the kids. And very occasionally, I might be going to the pub. And for that, to be honest, 170 mil travel enduro bike is just too much. I don't want that. I don't want those spiky tires and I don't want all that travel. What I really want is one of these. This is Cube's new Reaction Hybrid Race 625. It spans the gap between urban riding on one hand and mountain biking on the other. Just take a look at it. It's got RockShot suspension on the front, it's got pretty knobbly tires. Uh, it's got a really lovely aluminum frame and it's got good geometry. You know, it's pretty raked out and it's got some good sizing so you fit on it well. And that is really, really important for mountain biking. More important than any other discipline on the bike, in my opinion. But take a look at it again and it's got something else going on. It's got mud guards front and rear. It's got a pannier rack and it's got a saddlebag so you can put your essential tools in it. It's got a kickstand so you can prop it up. Maybe not the coolest thing, but it's really, really useful. And it's got a lock uh, mounted to the frame just there so you can lock it up when you've, when you've mounted it on the kickstand. And that makes it a really good utility vehicle for the town as well. So at its heart, the Reaction Hybrid Race is an off-road bike and an urban bike as well. It's got an aluminium super light frame with that traditional curved cube top tube and a really chunky down tube that of course is hiding the battery. The bike has a host of modern touches like internal cable routing that runs front to rear and it's got an oversized head tube as well, 1.5 inch head tube, so you can upgrade the fork if you want to. And at the back, it's got a Boost 148 rear end and that's gonna increase the stiffness of the bike. At 625 watt hours, it's up there with some of the biggest power units around. How far is it going to take you? It's a question that everybody asks me, and honestly, I don't know. It depends so much on the kind of hills you're riding, the terrain, whether it's rained, whether it's rooty and rocky, or whether it's quite smooth. And it depends on you as well. It depends on how fit you are, how much power you've got in your legs, how heavy you are, and it depends on how many glasses of wine you had the night before. But in my experience, you'll get at least 25 kilometers of riding with this battery and at least a thousand meters of climbing, if not more, and that's on full power. If you toggle it down to eco mode, you're gonna get double that. Those modes then are there to help you decide how much support you want from the motor. In eco mode, it's gonna conserve your battery life, but if you wanna flick that into turbo, you can boost up the hill a lot quicker. I think the most useful mode though is EMTB, and that's because it's been designed specifically for mountain biking. What does that mean? It means it backs off the power when you don't want it and it gives you all the power when you do want it. So that's 340% of the effort you're giving out from your legs, it'll put out in the motor. It's worth reiterating though, that it will also back off that power when you don't want it and that's gonna save you valuable range. It's all totally customizable thanks to the latest Bosch e-bike flow app that you can download to your phone. It lets you tweak elements like dynamics, strength, speed and torque. I can't say I spend a lot of time messing around with this, but it's super useful to have for an initial setup. And it also means your bike is up to date with the latest software. What's really cool is that you can control the power modes from your phone if that's what you want to do. But personally, I don't really want to look at my phone when I'm riding, so you can just do it from the display if you want. Now we get to what is, in my opinion, the really exciting bit about this bike, the motor. I'm gonna throw some numbers at you to start with. The Reaction Hybrid Race is running the latest and greatest Generation 4 Performance Line CX motor. That means it'll boost your power by 250 watts with 85 newton meters of torque at the touch of a pedal stroke. The numbers are important, but like so much in life, it's what you do with it that counts. 
I think that this is the best motor out there today. It's so intuitive and it's so easy to ride. It's powerful, but it's not noisy. It's quick to engage and you get a bit of overrun as well to help you up any obstacles you're trying to get over. The bike has 29 inch wheels, except for the size small, which has 27.5 inch, and that's to keep it in proportion for smaller size riders. The tires are 2.6 inch Schwalber Smart Sam, and I'm really impressed with them actually. They give you loads of grip and they roll pretty quickly too. And no mountain bike would be complete without a proper fork up front. This one's got a RockShox Judy with a silver TK damper. It's got a lockout, it's got 100 mil travel, and it's got a bolt through as well, so you know that front wheel isn't going anywhere. The Judy comes as a coil sprung fork too, but I'm really pleased to see it's got the air spring in here. And that's because you can threadle one of these on and get your spring rate dialed in. All that extra power means you're gonna be riding a bit faster than you normally are. But Cube's got you covered with Shimano MT420 brakes. They have 203 mil rotors front and rear. They're not the top end XT or XTR brakes, but don't let that put you off because for starters, that adds a couple of hundred extra quid to the price of the bike. And we've rated these brakes as some of the best stoppers you can get, especially given they offer such good value. Shimano carries on its duties for the drivetrain too. There's Shoei XT for the derailleur and good quality Dior up front for the shifter. So there it is, the latest reaction hybrid race 625 from Cube. Tell us if you like the bike. Let us know in the comments what you do on your bike, whether you go off into the hills for epics or whether you pootle around town. And be sure to like and subscribe.